Greetings and welcome everyone on today's episode, episode 21, which happens to be my lucky number, we are going to, or my favorite number per se, we are going to go and try to reach the beneath today. I want to do a few more things in Blood Magic. We did quite a bit last episode and we got to a very good point, but there are some things that I just want to finish with Blood Magic and some more things I wanted to show you guys as well. So let's just jump right in. You know, we had our room here. We got our Hellfire Forge we have uh, set up there and we got some nice things that we got accomplished. So let's just jump right in and get right to work here. So one of the first things I wanted to get to that I didn't mention last time, I didn't even know about it. So I guess I can't really be blamed per se, but we do need one and it is gonna help us if we're going to continue to use blood magic in any way, shape or form. And that would be the incense altar. So let's look it up here. It's this nice little yellow thing here. And it's not gonna be too difficult to make. It's gonna require stone and cobblestone. So let's go get four pieces of stone and a piece of charcoal. That'll help us out. Now we got our speed boost, we're on our way. So let's see here, we're gonna need four pieces of stone to help us out. And we have the cobblestone and the charcoal should be in here. So let's see, I've been in and out of the beneath, so if I touch a chest, it automatically just tries to pick it up. Oh, it's gone, thank goodness. Oh. That was driving me nuts. I went in there and fought for a bit and did some stuff and yeah, the fun. So let's make our altar here. Oh, we're missing our our item here. But it's not too difficult. It's not too difficult at all. So it's our apprentice. Oh, we also had to um, link it to just me. And, and to do that, let me show you how I did that. It's pretty simple. I just shift right clicked. It takes a little bit of life and then it links it to yourself. So that's pretty easy and pretty simple. Just a touch of life to do the right thing. Okay, and so it should just be like that. There we go. So let's go put this in place and let's test this out. I want to show how it worked because I'm not really entirely sure how it works. So I'm gonna put it right there. And you'll see there's a nice slate below it. Okay, so it looks like it's burning just a little bit. Oh, and it makes my sword, it changes my sword. Oh, nice. So then let's get our little rune out here and it shows us how much is in there. I don't know how much we're supposed to get per time. Oh, but that, that does a lot. Oh man, that did like 3,000 and almost killed me. So it's a win-win. Okay, so, oh by the way, we're getting our food back up as well. We already got fruit high enough, now we're working on grain, then we'll do protein and veggie next. Easiest first, right? So, we got that done, and we got that loaded. Our incense burner is, it works within a certain range, I think. And so if we get further away, it's not as effective, but that's fine. Okay, so we have the incense altar up and running, and now, I guess you can take your blood orb, and if you put it in here, it charges it or something like that. So I'm gonna let that charge for a minute and um, I'm not entirely sure where the essence go or what it is necessarily for just yet, but we will get into that and we will learn more as we go. That's always the nice thing. It's always fun to learn in Minecraft. Okay, so as you're seeing, it's uh, draining it out pretty good and we'll refill it as we need it. But then the next thing I wanted to do is I'm going to change how our altar is set up. I wanna give it a little bit bigger boost for when we do um, um, let ourselves. So what I want to do here is I'm just waiting for this pearl to drain it as much as it's going to. I'm not entirely sure how much it's going to drain it, but I want to see how far it will go down so that we can be able to use that as a point of reference for the next part of our little journey here. So we're at 2200 or so. I think it will hold probably equivalent to what the altar will hold, maybe right around 10,000. We're going to find out. And that is the that is the goal of everything is to learn. So, the next thing we're going to be doing is, like I said, we're going to be taking these blank runes and we're going to be making a rune of self sacrifice, which is going to be pretty nice. So we've emptied it. There we go. So let's grab this here and let's see if it shows what's in it. It does not show what's in it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not working. Okay. So let's grab 
our blank runes here. And we're going to pull up because only the cardinal uh, directions will work. So north, south, east, and west. So I got those four. And what we're going to be making, let's look up our runes, is the runes of self-sacrifice. I was thinking about making the speed runes, but I looked them up and they only really increase the speed, not necessarily the effectiveness. I'm not entirely sure what the efficiency runes do, but we're not going to get into those just yet. So we're going to need some yellow dye, we're going to need some reinforced slate, and then of course regular stone and the blank runes we already picked up. So let's go grab some stone, and we're going to make our four runes here. Oh, we had a little bit of a lag spike there, but that's fine. So let's go up here. Let's move a few things off our belt and out of the way. So let's grab, let's eat a little bit of something here. We're going to need quite a few of these guys, but four at least to start with. And then I already put some yellow dye in here so that we would have, and we're going to mill that up again to get the, uh, to get the actual dye we're going to, oh, why are you not grinding that up, buddy? Let's grab that there. I guess I can't pull it off just yet. So, we'll let that grind up just a bit here. I don't know if I have my millstone set up anymore. Oh, I do over here. So we can use this real quick. And we'll just grind this up real quick. And then I'll be right back. So there we go. We only got one left to do. And we're already at 66% and done. So, there we go. Got what we needed out of that. We got stuff to make more flour, which we'll store down here for the moment. Until that other stuff gets done, our horse should be working on it. What a good horse we have. Oh, and oh my goodness, we have a friend in there. There we go. He didn't make it. Good enough. We got him. Okay, so we got our eight pieces of die. We have our blank runes. Now we need to go make our reinforced runes, which we'll need four of those. Should be pretty easy with our setup that we have now. Things should be even better than they were before. So let's go. Let's go here and let's add a little bit to the altar. Whoops. And we almost killed ourselves, but that's fine. Okay, so it'll take a thousand each on this. So let's recharge our health while we wait for this. So let it convert these four that we're going to need real quick. Let's see how much is left. You see how it consumes about a thousand and then it just changes. Works out quite well. And there you go. As you can see, we're able to pick them up. It says current essence in there. Oh, we gotta have an empty hand to pick it up here. One second. So I'm not sure how to put essence back in there. It's kind of interesting. Oh, where's our food? We ate it all. So we're gonna grab a chunk of buffalo here to help get us up that extra little bit here. And then we'll just blood that a little bit. Okay, so our fruit is low enough that we're no longer getting the bonus, which we will fix real quick here. Okay, so we got that rune back, and now our last one. And then we'll eat a little bit here as we continue to gain health. There we go. And now, I'm not sure, we shouldn't need to... Okay, so for the next ones, because we need the reinforced ones, right? They're going to require 2,000 each. So we're going to have to bloodlet a couple times here. And what we'll do is we don't really need the stone anymore. We need the blank runes to convert them. And it should be fairly easy here. We currently have a hundred and some in there. And we're gonna eat this uh, buffalo meat. This cooked buffalo meat to help us out. Get us up to that next level. So as you can see, we're gaining health quite rapidly. And there we go. It took us down quite quickly, but it also gave us 2,800. So we're going to need right around the 10,000. Well, 8,000. We'll need 8,000 for this. So it isn't so bad. 
There we go, we'll eat that, and then we'll swap this out. We should still have our bonus. Yep, 91%, good enough. And now we'll continue to work on our vegetable and protein, and once we get more grains, we'll even work on that, which will be pretty nice. There we go, now we're healing up quite quickly. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting our runes in there, and you notice we have enough, we we can do two now, pretty easily. It'll work out quite well. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this part. This requires a tier two altar, so we're gonna have to put this back together for the moment. Well, this works here. There it goes. It finally recognizes it, which is good. So let's check on it with our little sigil here. There we go. It's working quite well. Once it gets to 2,000, we'll be good to go. We should have enough saturation to be able to make this work without too much of an incident here. And allow ourselves to be let out a little bit as we go as well. Like so. Because right now there's 1,600 in there. And now there's quite a bit more in there. There's... Yeah, we got another several thousand in there. We'll put these last two in there and we'll be able to have all that we need. They should fill us up fairly quickly and then we'll fill up the altar fairly quickly. We'll be good to go. Like that. Okay, now we have enough to finish the whole thing. Put that in there. Oh, it didn't finish. Doggone. We may have to let one more time, but we'll have it. Kind of want to show you guys uh, how how much it actually takes to do all this letting. It can be quite intensive. There we go. That one finished, and we'll just do the last one here real quick. We don't quite have enough, so like I said, we would have to let. So let's do that real quick. There we go. Okay, now we definitely have enough in there to be able to finish up this last one. We'll watch it uh, be complete here real quick, and then we'll be good to go. There we go, it dropped below 2,000, just below 2,000, and we got it. Okay, so now we got our four here. Let's put back our crafting table piece here, or our crafting table on a stick. Okay, so now we should have enough to be able to make the whole thing, except for, oh, we need to pick up the blank rooms, that's right. But remember, Cardinal directions only. One of the key things to remember is because I, I initially thought that I could use the corners, but then I I did some research and found out that you cannot. And it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. So we're going to need more stone. We're going to need eight more pieces of stone. Let's go grab that real quick. Oh, it's raining. It is raining. That's okay, though. We can work with that. There we go. And let's make these real quick. Yep. Put our pearls there like so, and then... Whoa, where'd you come from, buddy? He's got 17 armor. Wow. Talk about strong for Karate Kid here. Oh, he's wearing like full diamond armor almost, I bet. That's pretty insane. But we got him. No big deal. We'll have to figure out where he came from. There's got to be a spot on here that would allow him to spawn. No big deal. Okay, so back to what we're doing here. There we go. Like so. Like so, like so, and like so. Okay, so now we have our four. Let's go see how this works. Let's go put these in place. We'll be good to go. So this should make it so when we let, we let a lot more efficiently. So as part of our test here, what I'll do is I'll just drop this in there and allow it to absorb all of it. And then we'll do one quick let and see how much we actually get.
And there we are. It's good to go. So it's got 9,910 in it. So let's grab it real quick. I wonder if we can use it to fill up the thing. We'll check that in a minute. But boom. Let's see. How much did we get? 3,500. Wow, that's pretty good. That is real good. And I'm glad for that. Ooh. Yep, didn't do anything extra, and let's see if it fills up at 10,000. It does not look like it filled up at 10,000. It kept going. So let's grab it here real quick. Ooh. How did we see how much it had in it? I don't even remember. I'll right click on this. Hmm. Weird. Okay, I don't necessarily remember. I can't seem to cause it to happen again, so we're gonna need to eat before we die here. Okay, so let's go. I still don't know where that ninja came from, but it's gotta be right here somewhere. No big deal. We'll find him. As long as it's not a creeper, we'll be okay. Let's put our dagger up and let's put that guy up right there. Gives a little more space. Man, we're getting low on food. Eventually we'll have to fix that. Let's grab all this bread that we made. Whoops. Glad I didn't land on the plant. Okay, so. Eat one more time. And there we go. Okay, so now... We have gotten the Runes of Sacrifice. The only thing I would like to make next is a way to store our demonic wills better. And so for that, what I want to do is make one of these. It is the Petty Tarctic Gem. So for that, we're going to need some bronze, some ash, some blue dye, and a shadow fragment, which we should all have. It's got plenty of shadow fragments. And let's see, I should have one piece of ash. And I have the blue dye, and what else did I need? A single piece of bronze. We have that with ease. Let's go over here and grab it. There we go, so let's make sure these are in order here. And I think it's like that. It is. Okay. So now we're gonna go test this out. I think we're gonna need a will to make it happen as well. So we'll grab one of the wills we have in our backpack here. Yeah, our yeah, we're already that high with those, so we need to switch over to grain again. Or berry, one of the two. Because we are getting it back. That's what's important here. Yep, so we'll eat some berries here real quick as it gets low. So what I needed to do was go over here. Oh, we need to go into the bag first. And we need to grab a demonic will. Yeah, that's a low one, so it doesn't matter. We're going to drop these in here, just like so. And throw our wheel right there. There we go. And now we have our petty gem. Now, you may be wondering how we're going to accomplish this, but that's pretty easy. This is the easy part. We just take all these out of here like this, and then we throw them on the ground in front of us. And then we're just going to walk over top of them, and our petty gem should take care of the rest. As you can tell, now we have 16.5 will quality, and it's just our raw will. It works really nice for storing, so as we kill them, and eventually I think there's a sword that allows us to store it in there, so it makes it that much easier for us to be able to do our crafting, um, especially for the Hellfire Forge. So, we were able to upgrade our runes and get our gem Upgraded. Now I'm not sure if I kill them if I get the demonic will or if it just automatically goes into the, the gem here, but we'll see. It'll be one of those things that we'll just want to test out. And now it's time to work on that portal. I think it's time. So we need our beneath portal here. And for that we're going to need a blank teleporter. And let's go grab our book because we're going to need that. Let's grab that book there. Oops. Got that spider ability that gives me a 
the ability to climb, which is pretty nice. He may have come from right down in here, you know? I think it might be dark enough down there that it could be causing a problem. I don't have any torches on me. We'll work on that for next time. So, let's go in here and let's see what we're going to need to make the blank teleporter first. We're going to need the pearl. We're going to need some black dye powder. We're going to need two of it. Two blocks of coal. Shouldn't be too hard. Should be able to make those. So there's charcoal dust. Can I use that to make black powder dye? I don't think I can. Okay, so we're going to have to use our little ink sacks here. We're going to have to grind them up, I think. Let's check here. Yep, that's exactly what we have to do. Let's go over here. And let's feed them to our little horse that will grind them up. He does such a good job. Okay, so, next thing we're going to need to do, we have our pearl, we have our two dies, let's get our three blocks. And that'll be the next thing that we can do here. I'm not sure if there's anything special to convert these back, so we're going to find out. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I have to press them, I bet. Let's see here. Oh no, I'm gonna have to smelt them and then ring get them. Okay. So let's let this work here. While we're doing this, we'll continue to work on the other parts that we need. So we got the tin and the copper. We do have our apprentice orb already, and now we need the blocks of coal. Now I thought we had some coal. I thought I mined some somewhere. It's a matter of wherever I put it. So I have six pieces there. Let's see here. Crushed coal. We may need to go find a vein of crushed coal to be able to make this work. I know I have several veins of coal, so that I've marked. I'll just go grab some, I think. Yep, I'm gonna go grab those and I will be back. So here we are, we're back. We got the coal. We're just gonna grab this bronze real quick. We got the 18 pieces of coal we needed. Then we're gonna get the bronze. We can put this over in the press real quick. Grab our black dye, just like so. Put our coal in there. Let our horse take care of it. We're going to do one st set at a time, but that's fine. And then we'll go in here, grab our bronze block, pretty nice. Our horse should be done by now. He is just standing there, good enough. Grab this, put that other one in there. We should have all the ingredients we need to make this beneath portal, or not the beneath portal, I should say, the blank teleporter. So this is gonna be fun, going down in there. So with that, let's make it real quick here. Okay, so bronze in the middle, tin, copper, Oh, got them swapped. We got our... Those two there. What am I missing here? Oh, the Corillian Pearl. There we go. Or Corillium Pearl. So now we have our blank teleporter. And now our next step is to make the Beneath Portal. So we're going to need a few more things. We're going to need some coal dust and some gunpowder. Let's see. I think we have the coal dust in here. That's charcoal dust. So we'll get the coal dust by just grinding up the coal here. Let's see. Nope, it'll give us pieces of coal, but we may have to use the grindstone to get the other ones here. Or the millstone. Yep, we will have to use the millstone, unfortunately. I think it's in here. 
Yep, and the crank. Okay, so we can do this real quick to get this. I haven't, I hadn't set this back up since I did the whole thing last time. It can be very difficult to use. This is one way to get our food back up to the where it needs to be. It's gonna take like three or four of these to pump this guy out of here. One more. There we go. Okay, so we got our coal dust for this. We can get our gunpowder. Of course, we have our monolith stones. We need a demonic will, and I used them all up, didn't I? I have to go gather one more of those, which is no big deal. We can do this pretty easy. So what was I after here? Oh, oh gunpowder, gunpowder, gunpowder. There we go. We now have gunpowder. Very nice. We're gonna need to make a dark wood fence, which shouldn't be too difficult. We'll go over here to our nice horse here, and we will give them a single block of that one. And he'll be able to give us the planks we need. Boom. There we go. We'll need about half of them. Then we're going to need some sticks and we'll be good to go. So let's see here. Sticks. I think that's how you make it. Yep. I was right. Okay. We'll just put this together. Get our dark wood fence gate that we needed here. And of course we have the monolith stones already and the coal dust. We just need a demonic will real quick. So let's see what we can find here. I can go get one of those real fast. And I will be right back once I have one. I guess you guys could tag along for this one. If it's only just the one, we might be able to obtain it without too much difficulty. Let's put back our prospecting tool here. And we'll go in there and we'll take care of this little guy that we need to take care of. be too difficult. I put up a barrier here because <laughs> I was just dying. In here can be quite troublesome. Now I'm just waiting for something to appear because for some reason when I come in here sometimes I don't see anything and I can stand here for a while and nothing comes up. But then other times it's like six creepers! Guaranteed explosions! And there we go. We got a couple guys here to be able to go through. And he is ready to go. So let's just take care of him real quick. And we'll get what we need. Hopefully he's right there. Hopefully the will we require is right there. Put our fence back and let's check. Oh no, it went into our thing. So we're going to have to put that up for a second and give it another try here. I guess so. Don't have your your piece out when you need that. I don't know, does it need to be a specific type of will? Maybe we should check here. Nope, just demonic will. Okay, so we're just waiting for another zombie to walk up here. And don't let the sounds fool you. That is the portal talking. He's a pretty sneaky, sneaky guy. It's always so dark in here. No matter how many torches I lay out, it's just still so dark in here. It's one of the reasons I don't like coming here on camera, because you can't see much when you're in here. So when another guy shows up, I will be right back, and we will get this party started. Okay, so here we go. We got a couple guys here. Should we go after the Karate Master? Or let's go after both of them. Might as well. Let's see if we can get the effects to appear here. We're not getting the effects to appear. There we go. Got the effects to appear on one of them. Let's get it on the other while we're at it here. We may have it on both now. It's good enough. Let's tear them up. 
Oh, her effects wore off. Gotta start all over again? Guess you gotta kill him pretty quick. There we go. And the demonic wheel is right there. So now we have our demonic wheel. Yep, we were able to get our demonic wheel. Good enough. Oh, and if you notice these little red dots around, if another karate were to come up, he absorbs them like experience points. And he becomes a better karate zombie. Significantly better, in fact. But, <laughs> thankful for us, he's behind bars. So let's go back in here. And uh, a fence. Or a wall, I guess you could say. The cobblestone are called walls. So, we got our item that we needed. Our demonic will. The quality really is irrelevant, even though it's a nice one. It really is technically irrelevant. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put up a few things. And this is why I hate going to that portal. We'll go put that in there. And... Put that in there and those in there. Oh, we got a really nice pair of wolf boots. Very nice. Okay, so let's prepare. I'm going to take a quick nap and then I'll be right back. So I'm back and we're going to go over here to our altar. The one we have for... The one we have for uh, Abyssal Craft here. And what we need to do is put all our pieces in place. We have our blank teleporter here. Which goes here, I think. And then what we're going to do is put in all our other pieces. So it's one, two, three, four monolith stones. Let's get that up and running here. We don't need you right now. So, and the order isn't important. One, two, three, four. Okay. And of course we got our charcoal, will, die, and fence as our next ingredients here. So we'll just put those in place here. Like so. So now we have everything in place. And now it should just be as simple as tapping it with the book. Let's see. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I need to back up and pick up my book. Now I have two books. Okay, I only have one book now. That's weird. Oh, there we go. The ritual has started. Particle effects let you know that you're doing it correctly. And boom. There we go. Our beneath portal. What we waited for. It's pretty awesome. So we'll just grab it here, like so. And now we need to find a place for it. I'm not entirely sure where we should put it. Nothing will spew out of it as far as I'm aware. And I assume it has to go into the overworld. So I was thinking right over here where the anvil's at, or maybe right over here in the corner. Because we don't use these too much here. And right next to our bed, yeah, that's not scary at all. So it'll work out perfect. So what we'll do is we'll dig a little hole right here. Oh, bummer, that fell down. I'm not going to be able to get that either, am I? Give it a try here real quick. Nope. So there is another way. Swap boots. I only have like one use left on those silly boots. Okay, so now we got this. And we have our portal. There we go. So now if you look at our advancements here, we've done these two pretty easily and now we just made the beneath but we haven't gone in yet so that's gonna be the next step we're gonna make sure that we're gonna go in at the beginning of the next episode as our journey continues so thank you guys again for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time